Hey y'all, thanks again for joining us in the beautiful city of Brennan, Texas. You already know we're extremely grateful. I got a special one for us today. We're gonna be looking at the newest edition of the MK shotgun, the MKT-1. We're gonna take a look at it and then we're gonna go shoot that bad boy. So come on y'all, let's go. All right y'all, so I just wanna talk about a few differences in the T-1 and the MK-12 first edition. Uh, as you can see from the very beginning, this has a different handguard on it. So it is an M-lock handguard, which you can put any attachment, any rail, flashlight, uh, whatever it is you want goes right on here. As to you can see, it doesn't have anything here. Now they are making a handguard for this one, which I can't wait to get. They are, it's about two months out. So this one's gonna have a similar handguard with the same M-lock on it. And I've actually seen a picture of the prototype and uh, I'm ready for it. So it's gonna be a good addition to this one. But this one right here, y'all, so they keeping it more on the AK platform. So you have the dust cover, which is not hinged. This has a hinged dust cover. This does not, it comes completely off, very easy to use. Pop it off right here, just like that. So as to where it's not connected, so if you go to clean it, it's so much easier to take on and off completely for a full cleaning. They also in this one has an AK style trunnion. It, I mean, man, it's like being a real AK. So they really want the extra step to make this thing authentic and amazing. So another thing they did, which I thought was really cool, um, the bolt open, instead of using it in the selector here, they put it right here on the trigger guard for a lot easier access. So to lock the bolt, it's going to press it right here and it's going to close it. So right next to your hand makes it simple. And I mean, y'all look at this thing. Oh, the biggest thing, this is a lot lighter, y'all. I mean, the, the way this one feels and the weight is a big difference between picking this one up and picking this one up. You can really tell the difference. So if you're holding it for a long time, I mean, you always going to want the weapon that's lighter. I'm ready to go shoot this thing. One of the biggest differences that they have, which for me is accessibility. So the gas block on this weapon comes out of here. So as you know, if you've ever taken it apart, you have to take the handguard off, you have to take the tube off, and then the gas block comes from here. So on the new one, they have a detent spring right here. So you push a detent spring, push it down, comes out just like that, y'all. Very simple, very easy to put back in. Lock it in, click it on the detent, there it is, ready to go. So, um, y'all, let's go shoot this pad boy and let's watch it, well, let's watch it work. All right, y'all, I'm starting off on the Winchester 1400. I'm going to start off on gas setting one. Let's see what happens. Uh, went through them all. So we're going to try them again on gas setting one. Clear. See if it spits out the whole 10 shells. Oh, clipped up on the second setting, on the first setting. So we're going to move it to gas setting number two. Pop them out, eject the shell, and we're going to change the setting right here. Setting number two. out clear all right so it seemed to be setting number two was the one that's good for these Winchesters now we're going to go to the federal uh I think they're 1500 so I'll be right back with y'all and let me get loaded up all right y'all so we're going to shoot these Monarch high velocity 
1550. I'm going to start off at gas setting one. Let's see where the sweet spot is. All right, y'all, here we go. Let's see what happens. Well, all five of those, setting one. That's a good thing. Now we're gonna get 10 rounds. So the 1550 may be good at setting one. Let's see. Ah, see, it cleared. Now I'm gonna go to setting two on the 1550. All right, y'all, so 10 round mag of the Monarch 1550s on gas setting two. Let's try it out. All of them, 10 rounds, clear. So the Monarch 5050 runs optimal on gas setting two. Man, y'all remember, anytime you change boxes of ammunition, they don't work the same. So we have to make sure we get the proper gas setting correctly, and it's going to shoot incredible. So I got another set. I'm going to shoot, and I'll see y'all here in a second. All right, y'all. So we're going to try it with a, a full round with gas setting two in the 1550s. Let's get it all the way through. Ten rounds, perfect. So on this one, there it is, perfect. We're gonna go with some new rounds and let's see what happens. All right, y'all. So I have mine on the 1550 gas setting. I mean, on the 1550 Monarchs on gas setting two. This is mine that's been modified. empty not too bad let's shoot it again here all right y'all so this is mine on the 1550 five rounds Rapid fire quick. She's working. So the Monarch 1550 Optimal is gas setting two. All right, y'all. So it's my last round of shells. Uh, it's the Federal Speed Shock Steel Rounds, three inch shells, 1450. We're going to start on setting one. There she is, setting one ready to go. All right, setting one 1450. Okay, so that's setting one. Hit all of them. Let's go to the 10 round. See if setting one will hit them all. Which at the end of the day, that's setting ones the less wear and tear on your gun. So it's always better to shoot with the less gas. <laughs> setting one, 1450, perfect. We're going to shoot, I got 10 more. Let's put two more mags to it. Do it again. Empty. We got one more, y'all. Setting one. Setting one, 
So for the federal, 1450 setting one is optimal. All right, y'all, thank you for being out here with me in Brenham, Texas. You know, once again, I wanna say thank you to JTS and thank you to the Godwins. And uh, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Next video I got, I'll be coming out with the, the AR version. We'll be doing the same thing. Y'all have a great one. Cajun Tactical signing out. Uh, um, one other thing, the next video I do, so all this I had to go through with changing the gas settings for each different uh, box of shells. It's gonna all change next week. I have something that I was given to, which is a prototype that's gonna stop that from happening. So make sure y'all tune into that. Like, share, and subscribe, y'all, come on. Cajun Tactical signing out. All right, y'all, so um, I got this high point, 45. Man, cheapest gun I own. I paid $149 for it at Academy and 45 caliber. Yes, it's big. Yeah, it's ugly. But a 45 for $149? I'm in. Let's see how it shoots. Never shot it before yet. Wow. So that didn't miss. You see that? One more I bought. Y'all, I bought my, um, this is my personal, my G3C. I love this one right here, y'all. So I got a little RMR on it, uh, O light on it. Perfect tactical. We're going to shoot this one too, see what y'all think. So it had one of my tar one of my hollow points in it, which it didn't like at the same time. Let's try that again, y'all. I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the extended mag. This is 17 9 millimeters. Let's do it. Let's see how she goes. guys that's all i got for today and thank y'all for being part of this i'll see y'all soon